This video will walk you through how to integrate your POS account with Backbar. To begin, go to the Sales Dashboard found under the Sales tab. Click Continue to start the setup process. Select your POS system and follow the instructions to connect. The exact steps will vary based on your POS. If you have multiple locations attached to your POS account, select the location that you are trying to set up, then click Continue. Backbar will then retrieve your POS categories, items, and any modifiers. You will then be taken to the Set Your Standard Serving Sizes page. Uncheck any categories you don't need tracked in Backbar. This would include any categories that don't have any inventory items in Backbar. You can also set default serving sizes for each of your POS categories. This should be the most common serving size for items in this category. You'll be able to change the serving sizes for individual items in the next step. For example, if you serve most of your liquor products in 2 ounce pours, you should change its serving size to 2 ounces. If most of your products in a given category are served as the whole container, like a can of beer or a bottle of wine, leave the serving size as one unit. Cocktails should also be left as one unit. Click Next to continue to the Map Your Items page. Your POS items have been automatically matched to items in your back bar inventory wherever possible. Multiple POS items can be matched to the same back bar item, for example, if you serve a product in multiple sizes. There are two main objectives on this page. One, make sure the correct product is matched for each POS item, and two, make sure the serving size of the POS item is correct so the right amount is deducted from inventory when it sells. Review these matches and ensure that all of the information is correct. You can edit an item's size and serving information in the right sidebar. Remember, each item serving size is based on the default sizes you set in the previous step, but you can change the serving when necessary. If the POS items match and serving size are correct, click Save. This will move the item to the Mapped tab, and Backbar will start to track its sales data. The Needs Review tab is updated every time an item is added to your POS. Only items in the Map tab will be tracked by Backbar and have their depletions recorded. If a POS item's mapping is incorrect or missing, click Find a Match. Search for the correct item from your inventory, then select it. If you cannot find the item in your inventory, click Add a new item to search our database. If you still can't find your item, click Manually Add Item, then enter its type, size, and if it has one, vintage. Select Add Item when you are done. Missing or incorrectly matched items such as cocktails or recipes can also be found by clicking Find Match. If the cocktail has not been created as a recipe in Backbar, you can create it on this page by clicking Create Recipe. Choose the recipe type and add items from your inventory by using the search bar. Again, if you don't have the item in your inventory, click Add a new item. Ingredients must have completed size and serving size information before you can save the recipe. This is so the system knows how much of an ingredient to subtract when it sells. Continue to review and save matches, and click Skip for any items you don't need to be assigned to a backbar inventory item. To avoid having to click Save for every mapping, you can just review all your items, then click Approve All. However, please be sure that not only the product matches are correct, but that the serving sizes are all set correctly before clicking Approve All. Any items that have missing information will then remain in the Needs Review tab. If you have any modifiers, you can set those up on the Modifiers page under Sales. Assign an action to each modifier based on what that modifier does. 
For example, if the modifier adds tonic to an item, you would choose Add Ingredient, then add tonic to the modifier using the search bar. Enter size and serving size information if necessary. Again, if the item isn't in your inventory, add it as a new item. Click save when you are done. For more videos and support articles, visit getbackbar.com support.